Okay, we're on our way. We're in the car. Uh, got Mum and Stuart in the car together. Hiya. Smile, wave. We got Mum. We are on our way to Vegas, baby. Vegas! Woohoo! We're on our way to Vegas for Nitro Cross. It is not my first Nitro Rally Cross event ever. I did one in Linden Hill and one in Sweden. The one in Linden Hill went very well. We got a podium in the supercar category. The one in Sweden, it was the first international outing for the, for the Proton and it didn't go well. We stalled, we stopped, and the car cut out about five times each race, so not ideal. Sam's whipping the trolley with the luggage. Three. down in Vegas last night. Um, this is the view out of my room. Over there is the sphere. I mean, the camera doesn't do it justice, but that thing is massive. Then down there, we've got the track. That's the gap jump. That's actually the F1 paddock back there, so the pit straight will be on the other side. Pretty cool, pretty exciting. I actually can't wait to get up there. It's gonna be so cool. Today, I'm possibly go to the Grand Canyon and the Hoover Dam. If not, we might go to a shooting range. I really want to go to one while we're here. Just go, ah, oh, da, 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 da. With all the guns and stuff, it'll be so cool. I shall see you in a sec. Grand Canyon. I'm not sure if you can actually hear what I'm saying, but like the camera just does not do this justice. Like this is it, it's genuinely the most like breathtaking sight I've ever seen in my entire life. We can't park there. Can't park this, huh? So I just had my meeting with the social crew. They were uh, quite nice. Walking out to, to the track, essentially. We're going out, we're gonna go see the car, gonna start wrapping it and stuff. So there it is, that's the car behind me. Sam is due over there, getting the wrap on the car. So this evening, huh? what I was about to say, you can't say on camera. <laughs> that I can put in the vlog, of course. <laughs> so we're uh, gonna head out for track walk I'm here with Ollie. Hello. Hello everyone. It's for the vlog. You just gotta run at the jump and just jump as far as you can on foot. Yeah, we see it makes it. That's jump testing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you can run and jump, you're good. What are you saying? It's flat, right? What? Yeah, Bex. Completely flat everywhere. The whole track. The entire track, don't yeah. lift. Don't lift. You wouldn't. No. Nope. <laughs> you can see the size of the jump. I mean, that's a person. That's the gap. As you can see, it's pretty big. It's, yeah, it's mahusive. Sam, can you hold the camera for a scale of reference? So I'm just saying, as you come over these jumps, we had a problem before with myself and Chris, but you see on the data, you've got to be off throttle when you land. There's so much torque and weight, it'll just bend the drive shafts. Your uh, first pretty handy to know. Lose your virginity on it, bad <laughs> Pop the cherry. Yeah, pop, pop the cherry, not, not the, the dump. I can't wait, this is sick. <laughs> I way to hell. You can see the, the backside. Compared to driving up the dunes in Saudi and yeah. not having a clue where you're going, or at least like somewhat know where yeah, I'm going. Yeah, you got good reference points on the backside too. <laughs> Pretty good. It's a jump. It is a jump. Yeah, yeah it's a good jump. <laughs> that is mental. I'm sorry, this doesn't do it justice, but that is crazy. Yo, decharged. People might actually watch my videos now. Finally. Uh, I've, uh, I'll give you the views. I bumped into, um, what's your name? Uh, I bumped into Victor on a track walk. What are you thinking of the track? Tight, fast. Sam. Different than the other one, so it's going to be cool. No, it's going to be slow. Yeah, Why? Because I always want to send it in the... Can't really send it as much as no. you can anywhere else. No. I was like, I go tonight so I can send it in the corner and be fast. So, uh, just here on the grid, we just watched jump testing. I'm here with Kevin. What are you doing? You're not ready? Uh, no, I'm shooting content, meeting some people, looking after you. People know not to let you lose somewhere it's here. But... <laughs> I'm not old enough to do a bunch of things. Next oh, year, really? that'll be massive. 21. 21. So I'm 19, I'll be 20 in a few weeks. 26. I'm well over Good. 11. So we'll be able to hit it a little slower, so we don't go off for next turn. Can you not just make it bigger? No, make it make it easier. On my way now, I'm in hand to get photos done. And I need to get back as quick as possible because I need to be in the car, ready to go. Lights go green at 3.30. So can't wait to get out in the car first time driving. <laughs>
that's wild. Oh my god. Oh, that was insane. That is mental. I've never, I've never driven anything that everything comes up to you so far. So, ah, like you're in the car and it's like, ah, like everything coming towards you. It's, My second run in the car, it is absolutely wild. I mean, I can't even begin to describe the feeling behind the car. To be honest, I feel like I'm about 40 to 50% in control. Ah, like you're holding on for dear life and everything's trying to kill you, but it's insane, just absolute rush. Just about to head out now. As you can see, it's dark above me. We're going out for a one shot qualifying. Yeah, that's it. People are already sending it through the paddock on the golf buggy. The car looks insane. Look at that with the neon, the neon light going up through there. Travis over here. See the game face on. It's focused. In the zone. Let's have it. Just walking now back into the hotel. Yeah, I mean, I put it a tent behind Fraser and a tent ahead of Travis in uh, official time practice. Pretty, pretty amazing feeling and gonna hopefully bring that back tomorrow. Up at 6 a.m. for a, a live TV outlet. Try and get as much sleep as I possibly can. <laughs> Here at breakfast, we've got the pancakes, the side order of bacon, Dave's on the nachos, on the about today where are you what's going on so we are here on the track we're on the start line we've got planet hollywood in the background we've got the hilton grand vacations in the background uh, uh, we're here doing some tv stuff first not now race here but it's also his first time in las vegas how are you feeling going into this and also welcome to las vegas thank you it's, uh, it's pretty well you know i'm not actually old enough to do anything in vegas so i've just been walking up and down the strip it's, it's wild so we're just about to head out for and I'm starting against some pretty big names. We got Travis Pastrana and Fraser McConnell in my heat. So yeah, I'm starting in between them. So I'll be starting P2 on the outside. How are we feeling? Good? Sam, energy. We're winning anyway, so. More passion. More passion. More footwork. More passion. footwork. So uh, I made a bit of a, a bit of a boo boo there in race one. I made a mistake into the left hander and Travis overtook me. And then um, as I went over the jump, I popped the tire off the rim and uh, ended up just understeering into the back end. So just gonna quickly go over and say sorry. Travis. Chat? No, he's not. No worries. Okay, here we go, a semi-final one. NITRO, wait for that to go green and we'll be away. Okay, this time it's a clean start. Good one for last on the inside line. McConnell surely going to slot in behind. Excite Energy Racing. Patrick O'Donovan slots in. No, slots in behind. Oh, around the outside. Ollie Bennett into the back there. A little bit of contact with Ericsson. Pastrana taps him wide. But it's Larson leading into the Joker. has gone Pastrana and Patrick O'Donovan gone Joker on lap one. The Joker lap as Pastrana and O'Donovan will be sliding back there. Robin Larson leads and that's a good position for him. It's going to be side by side up to the line. McConnell gets it. P1 on the radio to him. Fraser McConnell. Connell takes the win. Just finished semi-final there. Managed to gap up one position. Unfortunately, couldn't really get it up too much more than that. So hard, obviously, to follow and everything, but uh, have a small bit of damage. I'm not too sure what it is, some sort of a vibration coming from the front motor. So hopefully we get that fixed, and uh, I think we're back at LCQ soon. Four cars in this. Only two of them are going to make it through to the final. He's level with Franks. Franks is going to try and shut the door. He's Kevin going to have to back it out. Franks is going to end up in the wall if he's not careful. Almost tags the rear left. Kevin Erickson, though, does get the whole shot. Patrick O'Donovan. <laughs> Side of Franks, O'Donovan makes a ball. Oh, wow, Franks, Franks in the wall. Punches to the left today on Patrick O'Donovan. There's only yeah. one line on the inside, and then over this jump, you've got to come in left-hand side. That was going blue through earlier today, and the landing was getting slippery. Red flag, 
so they've called it so this is just so that we can go and check on Victor Franks which as we say is the most important thing yeah. so they've red flagged this one let's go so we are missing Victor Franks unfortunately but here we go so again talking about Erickson talking about O'Donovan and that is Andreas Backward bringing up the rear so if Backward I, if I were Backward I'd go Joker immediately he's given up the start anyway to Patrick so just hook it off to the right and then Patrick goes and Patrick does Ooh. so that's good he's done him off and his door was opening and I think that's probably from the contact yep. in the previous run with uh, with Victor Franks as uh, we are seeing Kevin Erickson out front Backward again with uh, with outgoing that you'll come with Joker Joker seems really aggressive like he said he has nothing to risk or nothing to lose excuse me everything to gain Look. all all season long Erickson makes it look easy also want to point out blue groove look at that up there Sunday morning I didn't film too much yesterday just uh, there's a lot of stuff going on so yeah I mean obviously not the way you want to end the race day but I know tensions and adrenaline raise high so these things happen yeah be back up time practice in about 40 minutes long left the ground on jump you still get the exit that was good. That was pretty close. I had a, I had a really good race there with Fraser in the first few laps. Uh, he wasn't really able to fill too much of a gap, and then uh, again at the end with uh, with Travis, it was I was trying to cover off from him. Trying. Not... Hey, buddy. Hey. Good run. That was fucking sick. That you were all over me there. I was like, I can't yeah, you were... and I was like, thank you. You, you were dolly enough that I got yeah. inside. I was like, I thought you were gonna go wild. I was like, oh, he's not gonna make that same mistake. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I was like. I was like, Travis is going to try and stand up the inside somewhere. I, I thought when you put Ollie too wide, I thought you were going to, I almost just stuck it up the inside. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'll go wide. And then I was like, no, 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 come on. That was yeah, awesome. Was that was so good. Sick. That Dude, was great. hey, help a drive, man. That was sick. Thank you. That was insane. Whew. First proper smile I've had all weekend, you know. And uh, I wasn't like overdriving. I was just, I felt like I was underdriving a little bit. It seemed to be working quite a lot. That was sick. That's awesome. See you later. So yeah, he's bang up for this. Patrick O'Donovan wants to make his mark. Martel looks down. The nitro lights come on. Wait for Send It to appear. And then we're on our way down to turn one. Derrida would love to make an impact here as well. Doesn't want to make an impact into the wall in turn one. Backs into P2. Ericsson gets three on the run down to the first corner. Patrick O'Donovan holds his place there. A little bit of contact for the back of last. Oh! O'Donovan goes round. Spins it on the throw, but that car's broken for me. Something in the drive train. That's, that's gutting for Patrick. But yeah, some more contact here. So uh, we've just finished the semi-final, didn't really exactly go to plan, uh, steering rack got caught stuck fully right and uh, then I got T-boned by Martel. I was about 18 seconds down, continuing round and managed to gap up because of a fight ahead. Pace was there but unfortunately car's a little broken from Martel like whacking into the side of me but uh, uh, hopefully we're going to get that fixed, we'll be back out for the LCQ and fingers crossed we can do some stuff there. But in other news, we've got someone over here. Hi, I'm Claudio. Very kindly made us a uh, made us a little box. What's inside? A little motivation. Oh my god! I might get diabetes. This is amazing. Thank you very much. It's so beautifully decorated as well. Look at that. God, it's even got the old the old style Swifts. The RX2E. That's amazing. Thank you very much. I don't worry. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Or excuse me, three laps because it's the LCQ. Good start by Martel. He gets in immediately. So he's just in front of Victor Franks. Behind them, Pastrana up to P3. Travis should go Joker now, maybe? Nope. No, O'Donovan goes in. So Travis will go on the next lap if one of the cars in front doesn't go. And then Patrick on the outside line. Travis on the inside. Going to be close. But Pastrana just going to get it done in the background. I reckon he'll be in front of Patrick. He is. It's about 2.2 seconds ahead. Whoa! Big, massive flick in there by Patrick O'Donovan. But... Styles for miles, but that's not going to get it done. He's going to get it, so Franks is going to hold on. So that means Patrick O'Donovan's definitely going to miss out. Bit of a late one here doing the night racing in Vegas. It was surreal, absolutely amazing day. Uh, love the car, love the series, love everything. Yeah, very thankful to the team and everyone here involved.